hot out here. Maybe we ought to go back upstairs. Oh. Yeah, it's early yet. We've got plenty of time before I have to go to work. I love your sudden urges, J.R. They're almost as romantic as uh, your daddy's pit bull. But there's nothing wrong with me. I'm fine. Little misunderstanding. Oh, you are wonderful, J.R. You are truly wonderful. Do you think what we had was a little misunderstanding? That's all it was till it got blown out of proportion. I see. And Jamie didn't see you kissing some whoever? Your imagination is as vivid as ever, Sue Ellen. When it comes to you, J.R., it certainly is. You haven't answered my question, honey. You're right, I haven't. Well, I'm going to find out sooner or later. You know that. Why are you so interested in what I do with my spare time? Because you're my wife. I know it's inconvenient to remember that, but you might try. I'm not your wife, J.R. A wife is someone who shares her life with her husband. She cares for him, and she's cared for in return. Well, that hardly describes our relationship. Oh, how would you describe it? Sick. Very sick, J.R. <laughs> Good evening. Well, if it isn't my one and only. But I'll also pick out a new bedroom. A new bedroom? What's wrong with the old one? You're in it. Well? I want a different one. One that's apart from you. Separate bedroom? Well, what the hell kind of a marriage is that? The kind we're going to have from now on. You see, JR, I have decided that I'm moving back to South Fork. John Ross will be raised there. And I technically will be Mrs. J.R. Ewing. But we won't live together as husband and wife. We'll have separate bedrooms and um, separate lives. Everything's the same between us as it always has been. Sick, sick, sick! Oh, dear God, it can't be. Isn't it strange how the mistress always thinks she's smarter than the wife? If she's so smart, why is she the mistress? You have truly made my day, JR. I love to see you unhappy. I don't think I've met your guest. Uh, Kelly, this is uh, Sue Ellen Ewing, JR's ex wife. This is Kelly, JR's new wife. His new what? Well, I'm real surprised. You don't look at all the way JR said. He said you're a hopeless drunk, that you cheated on him all the time, that you neglected your child. And I bet after he told you all that, you went to bed with him. How'd you know that? Just a wild guess. Excuse me. JR. Hey, Sue Ellen. I thought you were building marinas or something. What are you doing here at the All Barons Ball? Slumming. I just met your child bride. What junior high school were you cruising this time? Well, that's real funny. I'm sure there are a bunch of people around here you can bother besides us. But... JR. JR, you got that little girl in your bed by telling her that I was a drunk, a cheat, and I neglected my child. That's true, darling. Ask anybody here. <coughs> Sue Ellen! Go of me, you're not my friend. I am too. No, you're not. You're probably sleeping with him too. Sue Ellen! Go with me. Oh, JR, are you all right? Would you leave me alone? Can I have your attention for a moment, please? 